Look at all the nuns. Common Garments Ministry Incorporated. Doesn't say Christian. And there's a reason. He said, run over him, he ain't my dog. He said, run over him, he ain't my dog. And I smiled and I laughed because I thought he was joking. But as he got closer, I could see his face. He wasn't joking. Now, here's more about common garments. Take meds. A real shithole.
People are brainwashed into believing that if you don't have medication, you're just going to die. You're just going to fall apart. That's a lie. You've been brainwashed. And the woman talking, I guarantee you, she's on medication. Uh, the best she can, because the medication is yeah. making her worse. They lie. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't know about that. We've never really had anybody on this ability to stay there uh, because everybody that has asked us about it has been on medications, and we don't do that. Um, you might try those two places. Alrighty, no. I, I know. I know that they do take people with disabilities. Right, but they, she doesn't have insurance or anything. Food stamps, insurance, income, nothing. Yeah. And yeah. from what I'm, the information I'm gathering, she's not the only one. Huh. A lady uh, from Salvation Army said that, uh, it was a, right up in the paper, about a glitch in the system, and a lot of people are in trouble. Oh, really? Yeah, she said it, something she read last last month. Yeah. Okay. It's an old recording. No, I don't deal with that part. We are not, we don't have staffing for that end of the spectrum or volunteers. Okay. Either way. All right. Thank you, darling. Okay. Bye-bye. Yes, I pretended to be calling for somebody else. That's how you get information. Now, first she said that the person would have to call themselves. What difference does it make? And then, when I asked for information, she said, maybe. So they're very defensive. If you're going to find out the reason they don't have volunteers is because they are really ugly. Now, a long time ago, me and my daughter, when we came back to Kentucky, we went there. After they took all our, copied our information off of our driver's license and stuff, they told us that whatever money we made went into their bank account because, they say, so we can pay our bills and get on our feet. I don't believe that. You put your money in somebody else's bank account, they can say it didn't happen. It is my Christian spiritual belief that common garments is all about themselves. They do sell items that you donate because a long time ago I bought a Volvo from them. They're making money off the public to live large and to have a home shelter that nobody will stay at because the rules are insane. That's a really good con. There's more. Now, months later, I see a volunteer that wasn't there very long at the common garments place. Listen to what she has to say. She didn't learn as fast as I did because she's medicated. Oh, 
Your parish used a place to make money to support themselves large. If you don't go to their church and you don't follow their rules, well, you'll hear this. You don't stay there. Well, if you don't stay there, they have the place all of themselves. They're financially secure. And the stuff that they don't sell or they don't want or they so on and so forth, then they put that out for poor people to come and get it for free. But is it free? Well, you have to tell them your name and where you live. And you're only allowed 10 items per section. you drive up, if you look to the left in the window, you're on camera. Now, they had a computer camera in the left window. Now, they have a camera over the door. Why do they need a camera over the door? Who's going to break in and steal stuff? It's to facially identify people. Yeah. Why would they do that? And they say, why do they have that store and the homeless shelter? Yeah. You got it right. Now let me tell you what. Antichrists, bullies, and devils, and demons, they can play Christian. They can play church. And they get away with it because you're medicated. Unplug and undrug. That's my 
spiritual or mass. And here's more. Now you know some truth, and let the truth set you free. If you check their Facebook, look who they're friends with. Look deeper. I personally don't have anything against them. Maybe God does.